podcast, we'll discuss the peer review process for the publication of technical journal articles. This slide presents an overview of the process representing the main steps in publishing an article. We'll walk through each of these on subsequent slides. The first step is writing the paper. After you've written it, you need to submit it to the journal. The editor will then generally assign an associate editor who will handle your manuscript and he, will, he or she will send it out for review. In about six to eight weeks, you'll receive a decision from the journal concerning your article's eventual publication. For most, this means some revision will be required. Once you've satisfactorily revised the paper and it has been approved by the journal, your article will enter the publication queue. When there's space in an upcoming issue, your article will be typeset and you'll receive a set of proofs to approve. At this point, you will also be offered the opportunity to purchase reprints or copies of your article. And shortly thereafter, you should finally see your article appear in print. If you're wise, you'll identify the journal where you intend to submit your article before you begin writing your paper. Each journal has its own specific focus and different format and content requirements. These days, most journals prefer that you use a downloadable template so that your article is correctly formatted from the outset. Important considerations in choosing a journal include the significance and quality of your work, the speed with which you would like to see your work appear in print. It's generally a good idea to identify the directions for authors at the outset so that you can find the right home for your paper. Once you've written your article using the template, you need to write a short cover letter. The cover letter should indicate that you're submitting this article only to this journal for consideration of publication. Provide a summary of your work as it fits the audience and the content of the journal as outlined in the directions for authors. And you should also include the name of at least three colleagues whom you would prefer to see review your article. Also, if there are individuals who you feel cannot review your work for some reason, you should indicate these folks' names as well in your cover letter. Upload your manuscript, upload your cover letter to the website, and now sit back and wait. At the journal, each editor will have a staff of associate editors. Um, these associate editors are identified based on their technical expertise, and each will have a slightly different assigned portfolio. So the editor will identify an appropriate associate editor, and then that associate editor will be responsible for handling, managing your manuscript. That associate editor will identify a set of reviewers, usually three, but it could be more, from the list of reviewers with whom he or she has worked in the past, those are folks who've done a thoughtful job on uh, reading other manuscripts and submitting thoughtful, uh, useful reviews that have made those manuscripts better. Um, the associate editor may also uh, read your cover letter and, uh, and uh, choose to use one or more of the uh, folks that you've identified in your cover letter as reviewers. That's another important reason for identifying who you would prefer to see be reviewers of your paper. The associate editor will email these individuals and ask them to read and review your manuscript. Each reviewer will receive a copy of your manuscript and will be asked to answer a set of questions. Generally, they are similar to the ones that I have put on this slide. Um, the reviewers are given a deadline for receipt of their review, usually a couple weeks, but this can drag on. Um, all folks uh, tend to have uh, a lot of different responsibilities that they are managing, and reviewing is uh, done as a service activity, so it generally falls to the bottom uh, in terms of uh, most individuals uh, meeting their um, primary responsibilities. Generally, journal editors want reviewers to decide whether the work's appropriate for that journal, whether it fits 
in terms of the problem being investigated, the quality of the work done, and uh, the quality of the interpretation and the quality of the presentation as well. And I have to say, most reviewers go above and beyond all of this and will carefully read and comment on your manuscript. They'll be generally helpful in terms of identifying any and all problems that they see. Some do this effectively and some do not. Once the associate editor gets back two to three reviews, he or she will make a decision concerning the suitability of your article for publication. Most papers are accepted with a request for revision, either major or minor revision. If major, then the revised paper is generally sent back out for re-review to make sure you have satisfactorily answered all of the reviewer's concerns. So once you get the reviews, I'm going to suggest it's very wise to read them, but then set them aside. It's really hard to take criticism, especially when it's your work, no matter how nicely it's been framed. Remember that writing is a one-way form of communication. What you wrote may not have been received by the reader, the reviewer, the same way that you intended. If you remember this, then I think it makes it a lot easier not to take things personally, and it will really help you to revise your manuscript and really make it a far better piece of work. When resubmitting, it's important to include a summary outlining all of the changes that you made to the manuscript in response to the concerns of the reviewers. And I strongly suggest that you write this recognizing it's highly likely that all the reviewers will see your comments. So don't forget, play nice. By now, I hope you've gotten the sense that publication process takes time. Uh, by the time papers appear, they're old news, no longer new news. Yes, it does take time. Uh, this recent study, I hope, makes it clear that publication typically takes six months to as long as a year, depending on your field. You notice that there's some variation. Chemistry appears to, as an academic discipline, have on average a much shorter time than, say, business and economics. Um, but nonetheless, it typically takes anywhere from six months to a year or more for a paper to appear. So it really is old news by the time it appears in print. There are efforts underway to improve the peer review system. Open access publishing platform represents one such effort, but that's a story for another day. And with that, I'll close this podcast on the peer review process system.